Hey everybody, it's Mike DeShazer from Proof. I'm here today because writing smart contracts is, for, well, for some of us, just second nature. For others, it can be hard to get started. You know, you have to get an Ethereum node running in most cases, or you have to at least download MetaMask and put a Chrome extension on your computer, and you gotta deal with ABIs, you gotta deal with bytecode, and you gotta learn about gas and gas prices and limits with Ethereum and also other things and we wanted to make a, a tool that you could just kind of deploy a smart contract like a cryptocurrency like a token token smart contract using ERC20 standards or any other kind of contract without having to deal with all that gas price limits all of the running a node doing all those things just so you get your hands dirty and also because it's expensive these days to deploy a smart contract for Ethereum. It can cost two to three, sometimes four dollars uh, just to deploy it because of the, pr the Ethereum price is so high. So we have our own blockchain and uh, you can use that one and it, it's the same exact thing as Ethereum and it uses the same kind of smart contract, Every everything's the same. We have a block explorer specifically for our blockchain. I'm going to show you how to use it and hopefully make understanding smart contracts and also how to work with them much easier to get you started for when you go off and uh, build some other stuff on, on other platforms. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to use this smart contract generator and caller. Uh, so here's how it works. We just put this together. Um, you click create smart contract to start and if you're not a coder this might look a little intimidating but just flow with me. The most important things here are down here. Uh, you can change the total number of tokens that will ever be created. So I can change this to 100. You can give it a name. So you can call this my name coin. Uh, and decimal places, don't worry about that right now. Uh, and you can give your own symbol, like a dollar symbol, euro symbol, this symbol. So just start with that. You set up basic parameters, the total supply and the name of your token. And then you can see there's a function down here that allows you to transfer to another person. And so that's so simple. And up here just lets you get balances of people. So you can write whatever smart contract you want in here, but this is just something to let people just kind of get their hands dirty. So you first click compile. What, what's happening here is we use a compiler called Solidity, and most people who work with Ethereum use Solidity to convert this human readable code into bytecode that the Ethereum virtual machine can understand. And so that bytecode looks like this. So, okay, we've translated it, looks good. The next thing you'll need to do in order to deploy a smart contract is you'll need to get your proof ether address and your proof ether private key. In order to get these, simply go to proof. If you're not already a member, easily sign up. It only takes a few seconds. Uh, and once you sign up, uh, I'm already signed in, it'll tell you in the menu that you can view your account balances. Um, so you'll start off with zero theorem. You can load up, but you don't have to do that for now. Just click on the private key, copy your private key, never share this with anyone like I am right now, and just paste that down here where it says private key. And then where it says your ether address, just click load and you'll see your ether address. Copy that, make sure not to have any spaces or anything in there. And instructions on how to do that are down here. And then you click sign and broadcast. Now what sign and broadcast does is that it signs your transaction using your private key and it also crafts a transaction. We broadcast it for you with one of our nodes and voila, there you go. You have a transaction ID. If you click on the transaction ID, you'll be able to view the transaction on our sidechain. And what it will de basically demonstrate is that you have zero confirmation, so you have to you know wait for a confirmation. Uh, but once there's a confirmation, uh, Ethereum virtual machine turns this into a smart contract, and you have your kind of your own cryptocurrency. So I'm going to, and you can do whatever you want. You can create a casino app on this. You could create a charity a smart contract. You'll see the the term smart contract detected, uh, and then you can click on the smart contract. And here, uh, you can basically see the, the balance of your smart contract, which should always really be zero, well, depending on what you're, what you're running. And if it's an ERC-20 
token, you can actually check the balance of, uh, of whoever. So for example, this is my Ethereum address and I start it with the total supply so I can double check that that worked. I can just click submit address and voila, I can see I have 100 tokens on this smart contract. Um, and that's pretty much how that works. So I just deployed a smart contract. It was really, really easy. A lot of the hurdles that you have to go through typically, you don't have to go through here. This is a good starter kit. To, uh, and then you can move on and, and do things. But we actually built this so we could develop quicker and easier. And it's actually a great tool just for, for doing stuff. Uh, once you do that, you can click the back button and you can go to call pre-existing contract. You can literally just paste in uh, the contract that you generated and then you can call stuff on it. So for example, let's say I had a function in there called transfer. I don't know if you remember, but I can transfer from me to another user. So I can just find another Ethereum address or a proof user. I can go to my Ether wallet, type in some whatever, generate a wallet, uh, download it, and then say I promise I won't forget my key or whatever. And then I can say print paper wallet. That'll give me a little paper wallet with my private key and address. Make sure I never share that with anyone. But I'm just going to take a, just an arbitrary address here. They don't really make it very easy for you to copy and paste stuff. So I'm just going to paste it up here and grab my address. So I got my address now and I can go back over here and I can say transfer to this address and I can transfer, let's say three tokens. So I can call my smart contract a function on it, uh, sending over an address and uh, this does not require an ABI, um, which if you're in Ethereum head, you'll be like, what? We wrote this really kind of janky thing, so you don't have to use ABIs. Um, we're going to keep improving it, but for simple like token transfers and stuff, it works pretty well. Um, and then I'm going to click issue command. It's going to craft the transaction, sign it for me, and then it's going to give me a transaction. Uh, I can click on that transaction, and now boom, there it is. There's my transaction, and I can see that three tokens have been transferred, and they've been transferred to this a particular user. I can check that. So I just created a token smart contract really easily on the proof Ethereum blockchain and I can go in back here and I can write more rules and more functions and just this is to help people code more easily. So we hope you enjoy this and we're going to keep improving it. It's really really new. Uh, we, we love your feedback but please take in mind it's very very new. We built this in a few days and uh, there, there might be some bugs, but for the simple purposes that we, that we built it for, uh, it seems to be working decently. Um, thanks so much for watching the video, and I hope this helps you deploy smart contracts and understand how they work.